Now, back to what I was saying. The fourth thing you're going to get out of every other video, YouTube or on YouTube, you're not going to get the solution. You will never find the solution. You watch my videos and the reason why it brings you clarity is because there is a solution. There is an identification to the problem. You identify the problem, you identify the cause, you identify the reason and the root. And then you identify the solution and you figure out ways to improve. Even if you find a solution, you will not find, you will not find hope. A hopeful solution. It'll be short term. It'll be just kind of do this and you'll learn to work with your failures. You'll learn to work with your weaknesses. You'll learn to work with your heartaches and pain. You'll learn to stop door slamming people. Why are you door slamming people? Why are you hurt? Why can't you fix it? Why can't you unscramble a scrambled egg? Because it's scrambled. That is the condition of your heart. How do you undo your past? How do you undo the pain? How do you get rid of those scars? How do you make the hardness go away? How do you trust people again? How can you give someone who has broken your heart another chance? How can you love somebody when you can't even love yourself? You can't. You might think self-discipline is enough. It does not fix the problem. It is a crutch. It is a bandage that you slap on top of the scars and say the scars aren't there anymore because I overcame them. Look, no more scars. And then I guarantee you someone hurts you the same way. They say the same thing. They raise their voice the same way. They, t they, they trigger you in the same way you're going to get triggered. The problem's not been dealt with. My videos point everybody to the solution. And I will say it in all of my videos because it is always the same. Love. Love, love, love. I talk about it in all my videos because that is the source of all hope and redemption. It is love. It is love. That's it. So if you don't have that, you don't have the solution. My videos give you the knowledge. They give you the understanding. You cannot, therefore, apply the application without the solution. The solution is to have your heart healed. My videos will teach you why you do the things you do. And I guarantee you, thank you for coming back. I guarantee you, the more you watch them, the more you are going to identify in yourself, hey, I don't, I don't know how to stop this. Eventually, you watch my videos enough. Eventually, you will come to the place when you realize, I don't know the answer. And I'm telling you the answer is Jesus. Your beliefs are, your beliefs are your own. But I'm going to tell you right now, you're never going to get, you are never going to, to be able to stop hurting and if you want to stop hurting, there is, there is absolutely no reason, none, none to not have your heart healed and loved and, and, and completely transformed. None whatsoever. The only person who is benefiting from this is you. And you might say, I don't believe in what you believe, therefore I don't want the benefits for me. Good day. That is... that." blows my mind and they walk away and they get hurt and then they raise their voice and they start cussing and screaming and then that same bitter bile fills their stomach and oh man I, I, that word just tasted sour in my stomach I can't believe I did that again then they feel ashamed then they feel guilty and then they go and they, they have sexual relations with people outside of marriage <clears throat> And then they wake up feeling completely shamed, just ashamed of themselves. They feel dirty under their skin. You can't scrub it off. You can't shower enough. And, and they, they feel physically sick and they feel like they're aging faster and they're dying. And it's, it's, it's a curse of sin. It's, Eric, how do you know all this? Because it's in the Bible. Everything I say is from the Bible. Everything I teach on my channel is from the Bible. That is why you can't take it and apply it to your life because you don't have the solution. The solution is Jesus. You cannot take parts of the Bible and say, I will carry my cross today. And me, how dare you get the out of my life. Boom. You just did the exact opposite. 
Now you need to change your past. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do now that you now that that damage is done? You scrambled an egg. You cannot take that back. What's the solution? What's the solution? You are standing before yourself and you are standing before the rest of creation. And when you breathe your last breath, you will stand before eternity. What is your defense? And what is your solution? You say, Eric, I don't like you talking about this. It makes me really uncomfortable and I really feel like you're pushing your, your faith on me. I am telling you what I tell you in all of my videos. If you really want this, take it. And if you don't want to improve and get better and you don't want help, then my videos are not for you. My videos are for those who want what I have for them and who want what God has for them. I said that since my very first video. If you don't want help, if you don't want to improve, you don't want to get better, stop watching my videos because they're not going to help you. That's why you're still asking questions. How do I fix it? You don't have the answer. You don't have the solution. Your problem is still ongoing. My videos are for those who want to be loved and who want to heal from the pain and who want to move forward in their life. And I have, I'm blessed to have had countless people comment, Eric, your videos have changed my life. Thank God they've changed someone's life. That's all I ever wanted. If one person listens, it's worth it. One person. And I've had multiple INFJs saying, God bless you, Eric. I believe, thank you. Thank you because it makes sense now. And they're walking off with a changed heart and a changed life. And thank God for them because my ministry has meant something. I've done something useful with my life. And if you don't want what God has for you and you don't want what I have given to you and what I can give, if you don't want what my messages have to offer, don't take them. I don't care. I care about you, but I do not care about the willfully damned. If somebody wants to walk into a pit of fire and say, well, uh, I, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable with that person's water. It came from that, that owner's well. I don't like that person, and I don't like how out of this. They're just off. They're just awkward. And I, I just, I, I'd rather just not deal with them. I'd rather just not deal with it. I, I, it makes me uncomfortable. Just I don't want to talk to that person. I do not want to talk to that neighbor. I just kind of do my own thing and let him do his own thing. And, and we're, we're good. I have no sympathy for the willfully damned. If you want to walk into a pit of fire and burn yourself and get hurt and get hurt by the world and by people and by your own actions and continue to repeat the same cycle of damage that you've done your whole life, you go right ahead. And when you're ready, when you are ready for the solution, my YouTube channel will be here. Come back, accept Jesus into your heart, you can start over. And you can have all those wounds healed. My videos are not made for the willfully damned. They are made for those who desire healing, hope, and a new future. For themselves and for their family and for those who know them so they can love people the way that they crave. And if you're an INFJ and you come here, you crave to love somebody. You just can't do it. And that is where your frustration comes from. That is where every INFJ's frustration and hatred towards themselves and towards the lawless deeds of mankind come from. Because they think if they see a lawless deed and only they were strong enough to stop doing those same lawless deeds. I'm not talking about stealing. I'm not talking about cussing someone. I'm saying if they could love somebody enough, then all the pain in the world wouldn't matter. If I could love you enough, every person in your past who ever hurt you wouldn't mean a thing because my love has filled your heart. And then we INFJs crave that same love. Guess what? You can get it. You cannot get it because it is only received at the cross of Jesus Christ. So you come here saying, I want love. And, and, and that's probably what kept you coming back, honestly. That is pro it is probably the Holy Spirit kept drawing you back and you think, well, I, I, I'm so curious. Where does he get these thoughts? From? Where does he get these ideas from? Why does, it, why does it just feel so right? It feels right because it's truth. It's truth. The Bible, every word in the Bible is God breathed. It came from a divine source. You cannot replicate it. You cannot change it. And you can't find any contradiction. 
You can't, it's true. It was true 2,000 years ago, it was true 5,000 years ago, and it's true today. And it's the only truth you will find in this world. Every other YouTuber will tell you whatever, whatever seems reasonable, appropriate, and fits into a sphere of understanding and INFJ identity. I am telling you the identity of your soul, your thoughts, wills, desires, emotions, why you think this way, why you do these things, why you feel this way, why you have these habits, why you desire these things. And then I'm telling you, okay, this is why it happens, this is how to recognize the signs, this is how, what you can do to prevent it and or change it, and this is why history keeps repeating itself, this is what you can become. I'm taking a human being's soul. Thank God he has gifted me with the potential to care for all of you INFJs. Part three is coming up. Video's about to end. I'm gonna make a part three. Stick around, this is not over yet.